So my five-year-old kingdom is right over there, right? Well, in this ocean, literally like two feet away, there's a shipwreck down here, somewhere, over here. And somehow inside of this loot chest, there's moss in here. What sense does that make? Apparently that's been there for years and I just never found it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways guys, we are back today in this world on a Monday just because I felt like playing in the 1.17 update once again. And I got a really cool build idea, so today we're gonna build with Amethyst. Well, not really. I wanna farm Amethyst today and I'm gonna make a build so we can farm it. So here's my thought process. Over here, this big white building, this is a scientific lab. Inside of here, we have many cool studies like the interdimensional rock study or the armor weapon strength test study. We have an ender dragon study. We have a plant study. We have all these cool studies inside of here. What is this doing here? Ender bed. But yeah, this whole lab is completely filled up. So today we're actually gonna go somewhere else Find a geode and we're gonna build a lab inside of a geode. How cool does that sound? Well anyways, if you're new here, this is my five-year-old survival world. I usually only play on it on Fridays, but since the update just came out, I wanted to play again. I am loving the new blocks. Like, check this out. I'm adding moss everywhere. I'm adding little azaleas everywhere. I'm just trying to make this place look more updated, I guess you'd say. And thanks to that shipwreck, I now have more moss to play with. That's awesome. But enough messing about. We have things to do, we have places to be, we have things to explore. So in my hands, I actually have a journal right here, which I have some coordinates for older geodes that I found a few days ago, but I wanna find a closer one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my elytra on, go fly this way to the ocean and see where I can find a geode over here, or at least something, a cave, maybe I can find a geode through a cave. I don't know, but I gotta find something somewhere. Guardian temple right there. That's handy to know. Oh, we have land here. I hear fire. Why is there fire below me? What's down here? Oh, mine shaft. Ooh, copper. Okay, we're in the right place already. Wait, this could be very helpful because I know in mine shafts you can actually find glow berries, which I have not found yet. Also, I need all this copper for my buildings. A small sidetrack, but you guys don't mind, do ya? Ooh, a chest. Wait, that's not a chest. Duh. Mob spawner, hello. All right, give me either glow berries or a notch apple. I don't want anything else. We got. Nothing I want, nothing I want. Ooh, a chest, come on, baby. Glowberries, let's go. We got our first glowberries in this world. Also really fast, I wanna address something. In this world, I used to have cheats enabled so I could go into spectator mode for cool thumbnails and whatnot. But some people insisted I was cheating and spawning things in and my world wasn't legit, which kind of made me mad, to be honest. So I turned cheats off. So this world is now officially cheat free. It wasn't really a cheat anyways, but now it's, Officially not cheating. So if the thumbnails are lacking, you know why. Thanks, haters. Guys, I think I found one. I think this is the, what is this called? Smooth basalt? Tough? Something like that? Wait, is it? Oh no, I was wrong. I thought there was going to be a thing here. Oh man. Tough. It's not, isn't tough on the outside of a geode? Hold on. I've been bamboozled. There's nothing here. <gasps> Did I find one? I did find one! This time we're lucky! Let's go! That was incredibly random. I was literally just digging, just trying to like find a way out, just making a staircase, and I found it. If the haters accused me of cheating before, they're gonna go crazy right now. You didn't know this was here. You were digging right to it. Shut up. Shut up, hater. But this is perfect. We're only like 1,500 blocks away from my home. I was getting kind of nervous. I was digging for a while. I couldn't find anything, but we got one. We're good. Now let's go back. Let's mark this thing with like a giant pillar of blocks and then go get ready for our new build. But first, I'll take you. All right, I'm flying back out with a ton of iron blocks. Yes, we're gonna make this out of iron blocks. Like, I really want this build to kind of feel like a laboratory, like a science lab kind of thing, as I talked about earlier. So I think it would be nice if we had like a nice sciency block, like iron. So I'll figure out the top part later, but first off, I wanna go down and actually make the like underground part of the lab first. All right, first off, what side should I put the lab on? It would make sense to put it right here where the opening was because there's an opening in the actual geode itself, but it's also on like a weird angle here. So do I wanna put it on the flat side and possibly break some of these things? Probably not. Okay, it's been decided I'm gonna put it right here. Oh, there's one back here too. Dang it, I don't wanna break these things. You can't get them back. What about over here in this corner? Is this, all right, this is all free here. You know what, I'm gonna put it in this corner back here. This makes the most sense because there's no budding blocks in the way. 
So I'm gonna cover up this old side. Okay, I tried keeping it as intact as I possibly could without, you know, disrupting anything. So it looks good right now, I'd say so. Now we're gonna rip open this whole area and put down a giant iron room. I'm thinking maybe like a nine by nine, 10 by 10 kind of size. So pretty big size room. I'm gonna get to break it in place and I'll be back shortly. Update, here is the lab. It's a giant iron box. The nice little bay window here to look at the amethyst grow. It's like a nice little lab window. So I like how that came out. Also also, I found some diamonds while I was mining, which is pretty cool. But let's take a pause from the lab. I'm sure most of you guys watching this also want to learn about amethyst and how it grows and how to actually farm this stuff. So it's time for a good old fashioned lesson about amethyst and how it works. So basically, inside of these geodes, all these normal blocks are normal blocks. You can break them, you can pick them back up, place them back down, pretty simple. But these cracked looking blocks here is what actually buds the amethyst. So these can grow amethyst, you can't break them, well you can break them, you can't harvest them. So I can't break this and get anything back from it. Now these work kind of like crops, they grow bigger and bigger and bigger. And this big puppy right here is the final form. I can actually fortune him to get some amethyst shards like this. Or I can silk touch these things to actually pick up this growable amethyst cluster. Now for these smaller ones, I actually can silk touch these as well and replace these on other budding amethyst blocks. And they'll actually grow, which is awesome. Now these things take a while to grow, so not too awesome. But if you want to go get a bunch of amethyst around your world and bring it to one centralized spot, you can do that. And one final amazing tip for amethyst it actually makes a great disco room disco break if you're new just go with it see i was right this is a really good disco room so all that being said, let's get back to work on this place. For one, I wanna make a room to actually enter this place. So that's why this little hallway is here. So I guess I'll make a small door to get in right over here. And obviously I just wanna decorate this entire room with like science stuff and stuff regarding the amethyst. Because let's be honest, I don't need to know too much more about this place. I kinda get the premise, but I wanna make it seem like there's more to know. I'm gonna put down like bookshelves and like things under a microscope or you know, just science Sciency things. And that's a cool building tip for you guys if you haven't done this already. Try and add some lore to your world. Don't just like do what you have to do. Have some fun and make a story for yourself. Like in my case, this will be like my amethyst study to research the amethyst, which once again, who needs that? Nobody. But is it cool? Heck yeah. All right, back to work. All right, we're back. Here is the finished, well, almost finished lab. So I just add a ton of things that you'd think we'd want to be studying. So I added like barrels of all the stone that goes around the geodes. I have a collection center for the actual amethyst. I got a bookshelf for research. I actually made a book and quill here for like amethyst related information. Not really needed, but again, just a cool little lore thing. So yeah, that's the main room. Over here is the doorway to get into the amethyst area, but I didn't bring a door. So that's why it's open right now. I'll fix that later, I promise. Oh, also check this out. This is like a pulley system to bring amethyst over to these piles. Now, I gotta put something else up here to kind of make this little turn look normal. But uh, again, I'm almost done. Not fully done, but almost done. I would put stairs up there, but didn't bring a crafting bench either. So yeah, I kind of dropped the ball on that one. <laughs> and finally, this door over here is how to get out. Right now, it's just leading down to the mine shaft, but I'm gonna actually make a little bit of an escape route here. Maybe either a ladder system or like a mine cart system in the future. But I guess for now, to make it easy, I'll just ladder my way up. And you know what? I'm gonna make a ladder system actually down here to where the mine shaft is, and I'll cover it with like a trap door. So I'll do something like that, I guess, and I'll take out this thing and I'll just plop it like that and there we go, a little secret passageway downstairs. Now I'm not gonna make a top part of this lab, I'm not gonna make a, like, a, like an upstairs way to get down, because I just think that's kind of a waste of materials and a waste of time. I'd much rather make an underground rail cart system to get back over here, so I definitely wanna do that, maybe not today, but I wanna make an underground rail cart system for sure. So that way back at the kingdom, I could just literally hop in a mine cart and get right back here in like three seconds. All right, so there's the entrance, now I'm gonna go straight straight back on this block all the way back home and I'm gonna try to mark out where the rail cart system's gonna be. So I ended up right over here. I put down a little amethyst piece to mark where I'm going, but I'm right outside the kingdom. Now, unfortunately, I'm not in the kingdom. I kind of wanted to have a pathway right from my cave house, but I can't do that. But you know what? Who cares? It's fine. 
So maybe I'll have to make some sort of like small little bay station here where I can hop on the little train and go all the way to the Amethyst Research Center. I don't know what I'm gonna do exactly, but I probably need at least some kind of small building here just for something. So why don't we actually go make a small little building right here? Just like I said, let's do it right now. But I'm not gonna use iron because I can't make iron stairs or slabs so it's gonna look like a very blocky ugly house so I'm gonna go get some wood and some stone and make a real house. So I'm gonna make kind of like a hut kind of thing. I'm, I'm picturing like a cabana almost something like that. It's not the nicest place in the world but it looks decent right? I mean eh, eh, eh it's okay but the inside's nice. It's a little bit of like a shack design some cool weird slab thingies I made. And somewhere here in the middle, I'm gonna make like a staircase or just a ladder system right down here and go to the right level, then have a minecart go straight over to where the Amethyst Research Lab is. Is it a science lab or a study? Or is it the same thing? I don't know, I keep changing the name. But either way, I like it. <laughs> Sounds cool regardless. All right, this is the right level. Now we just dig straight this way for like a thousand blocks. This'll be fun. Be right back. Hold the phone. Did I just run into a new geode? This better, this better not be. <gasps> oh, you must be kidding me. I just made a whole lab. Maybe I can use this for some kind of like other future lab, like a dual lab for two different geodes. I don't know, I'm upset. Hey, we're here. Okay, that took a long time, but we are here. So I guess I'll also put like a trap door up here for this ladder, because I don't really need this anymore to go to the ocean, so. There we go, we got a double secret door. How cool is that? Now that I'm here, I can actually make some iron doors finally, because I was dumb before. I'll put one right here, and then some pressure plates in front and in back. Well, that'll be annoying. I'll just move this like one block over. All right, that's better. Then one more door right over here like this. And guys, that's gonna be it from me today with this build. Ooh, actually, let me harvest some more of this stuff. Oh, it's growing so fast, wow. But what I was saying is I don't have time to actually go make the railroad today itself. I can't put down the tracks and whatnot because I actually got to go write a paper for college. I know, <laughs> summer school sucks. Like, I took summer classes for college thinking like, oh, I'm gonna get ahead and be a good student, but now I regret it because I got to write papers instead of playing Minecraft. Also, how does that look? Looks good? All right, cool. But anyways, if you guys are new, every single episode, I get a comment of the day, which is basically my favorite comment from one of the previous episodes. And I take that comment of the day and I actually put it in this grand structure up here called the comment rainbow. So today, let's go get the comment of the day. And today, in the comment rainbow, we have a new comment by someone who I believe is new, but regardless of their status, they left a very nice comment. And this commenter's name is... Jules F. And Jules says, Love your vids. Keep up the good work of your high-quality, entertaining videos. So thank you so much, Jules. I appreciate that. Speaking of which, I'm actually loving the quality of these videos. I think they're coming out amazing. The editing is amazing. Shout out to you, editor. And most importantly, I'm having fun, you're having fun, we're all having fun. So yeah, if you want to have fun with me some more, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. But regardless of what you do, like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.